We're unboxing the Epson F2270. Here, I'll take, let's take a look and I'll show you all the little details of unboxing and setting your printer up. Notice your guides. Grab this right away. Your start here guide. This is how we're gonna pull our, set our printer up following this instruction manual. If you want to get a head start, you can always go to epson.com slash support slash F2270 and download the drivers and software and view and print out the setup guide. I highly recommend doing this. Notice the fellows didn't cut the top of the box. They lifted it off and set it up as a table for all the accessories you're going to pull out. Ink and platen's in the top box and the bottom box has all the back cover and waste ink tubes and waste ink bottle and accessories. Set these aside. In the event you intend to move your printer into a new location, be sure to save all the packaging material for repacking. I've even heard of box shortages and people selling empty Epson printer boxes with all the packing material on eBay. Wild, right? Alright, let's unwrap this thing. Notice there's a lot of tape. We'll get to that in a second. Now's the time to put the printer on the stand or the table of your choice. Epson suggests four people to lift, we use three. The footprint is not quite the same as the F2100 and F2000, but not enough to be an issue. Now untape this thing. Lots to address, inside and outside. Be sure to read the Start Here poster for specific instructions. In all my years of doing this, you'd be surprised how many times I heard about people leaving tape in places where they shouldn't. The instructions specifically address this piece in the back. Don't forget it. Now remove the waste ink line caps and keep these. These are a few accessories you'll need to hang on to. I have a list at the end of the video of everything you need to keep. Put your back cover on. This is easy. Just don't pinch the waste ink lines. Now the instructions say to ensure the fabric wiper is seated and remove the platen clamp. At this point, I decided to move it into the studio. Out with the old and in with the new. I reset the drain lines for my space. Be sure the Y is correct and cut your tubes to length. Keep in mind this is a gravity fed drain system so everything needs to flow downhill. The setup guide has very specific instructions on how to set up your waste ink bottle. Follow them to the letter. Now plug in your printer and turn it on. Set your date, and time, and ink mode. All of you will likely set up for white ink. Then prepare your ink cartridges and get ready to load the ink. Shake your white ink 25 times and your color ink 5 times. See the instructions. Be sure they are seated correctly and insert whites, maintenance liquid, and then color. Now your printer is going to guide you through charging the ink. Remove the charge cover and keep it. Then insert the white ink charge thing. Now charge the ink. This takes about 32 minutes. This is a good time to put on your platen and download your software if you haven't already. Do not interrupt the ink charging process. When done, remove the charging thing and replace the cap. Now the good news is, you're ready to print. Yeah, it's that simple. I could hardly wait, so I pre-treated a shirt and printed DTG right away. It looks outstanding and the printer is super efficient and fast. I like the new LED light on the inside to light up the print. The colors are bright and beautiful and crisp, just like you would expect out of an Epson DTG printer. Epson touts the new DTF capabilities of the F2270 and it's definitely easier than before. I set up this left chest in a few minutes and the print settings and functions in Garment Creator are super intuitive and easy. There's really no guessing anymore. The image is automatically inverted and set to print color and then white. Super easy, fast, and high quality. I applied powder and then heated it. These transfers are shelf stable for years, and if you don't use DTF, you ought to reconsider. Application was super easy and the print stuck to the garment first try. Super high quality and permanent. What more do you need? We sell DTF accessories on shopmelco.com. DTF and DTG on the same printer in a matter of minutes. Who says you can't print money now? These are all the parts I would keep on hand. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to do a ton more how-tos, quick tips, hacks, all sorts of F2270 stuff. Melco, baby. Boom.